And I know, of course, Muveen, you spend a lot of time trying, as I mentioned, de-radicalizing some of these individuals. And I think for people listening, they might not understand how ISIS would be able to direct this kind of attack. Can you just tell us the mechanisms that they would use to, to really, uh, you know, position someone to carry out this kind of act? Well, it's, it's actually very, very easy. I mean, back in the day, you know, when I was 19 uh, and I was involved in extremist circles, um, you know, we looked for, we, it was one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, recruiting. I mean, we, taught, we told them, we sold them a line. Uh, the line was, look, the, war, the West is at war with Islam. Uh, you need to do something about it. It was a very simple narrative. Um, and this is the same thing that we see today because these narratives are taking hold. And so it's very important when people say, look, don't engage in this, you know, war against Islam narrative. You're, you're just aiding and abetting the enemy. Um, now, ISIS is saying the same thing. They, they said it very clearly. Don't, don't ask us for permission. Go and do something. It will get the media's attention. Our, our brand will be put out there. It's an ISIS-inspired attack. Uh, I mean, membership, again, we, we keep thinking these old terms. I mean, we... We're past that. We're in a new phase of where anything goes, ends justifies the means. All you need to do is internalize the ISIS message, which is what? Hate the infidels for being infidel. Use the foreign policy grievances as a, a vehicle. Uh, and just and all, all you have to do is internalize that belief. And then you act out. That's it. That's the only thing that makes you a member is just that you believe what ISIS is doing is legit. They don't need to send people to say, they're telling you, Go to the stores and buy weapons. Go to gun, uh, gun shows and buy guns. Uh, do it yourself. It's do it yourself terrorism. So really this distinction between ISIS directed and ISIS inspired is, is really faulty in a way you're saying. It's irrelevant at the end of the day. Uh, it's irrelevant because the end result on the ground is just is mayhem, death and destruction. I mean, the only difference is that if it was a directed attack, we would then look for somebody to bomb in Syria or Iraq. 